We ended up working actually closely with the Department of Education. Um, they wanted to pilot some, some workshops, um, but making sure that the Seeds of Peace was aligned with Common Core and with Hiccups 3 and with the GLOs in order for them to eventually be able to offer professional development credit. We knew what was missing was it's a lot of great information, but what was the tangible application of what they were learning, and so we created these action plans so that people would leave the workshop with a, a template to use to first discover what's going on in their community or in their family or in their school, what conflicts are existing that really need some concentrated attention, and then building their, their skill set to know how to intervene and then how to sustain that piece. We invited participants who have participated in the workshops to come back and share where they are in their action planning. How to care for the water, the vai and the kai in, in Hawaii. So they come out to your school and they do a skit. The drinking water gets polluted, and how the runoff goes into the ocean, the water gets dirty, how to clean it up, and how they're going to do their part to educate others. To help the parents and students um, from the Marshall Islands and from the um, Federated States of Micronesia to transition to the Hawaii Public Schools and into our communities. I have the kids, you know, sometimes write testimonials and it opens up a whole new understanding and also a respect for people who are different in every way. We've been bringing counselors and um, principals and different people into um, school readiness, uh, talking with families and getting them ready with the, and telling them about the importance of the social emotional learning. This particular lesson involved um, a debate of the week. They were partnered with students who had opposing views, and they're encouraged to look for the common ground, which we did with a simple Venn diagram, and then do some reflecting through active listening. It feels really rewarding when we hear the participants share their intention of really making a difference through these action plans. And so I hope that that commitment will sustain, that we'll be able to continue to grow the program um, statewide, because it's really exciting to think about all of these Seeds of Peace action plans happening around the state and what that might mean collectively.